Let me talk about numerical solution of equations of the form fx equal to 0. All of you know how to find solution of such type of equation that is x plus 3 equal to 0, x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. But if you are getting such type of equations in your projects, how will you solve? How can you find out the value of x? in such cases. Actually the equations which contain transcendental functions is known as transcendental equations. We have numerical methods which are useful for solving such type of transcendental equations or such type of polynomial equations. I will explain it with the help of this graph. We consider this one. Let this be the graph of the equation y equal to f of x. Suppose you have to find out solution of the equation fx is equal to 0. So by finding solution of fx is equal to 0, we mean that finding x such that fx equal to 0. Actually fx is same as y. Therefore, the question is finding x such that y equal to 0. So in this case, at this point, you know y equal to 0 and at this point also y equal to 0. Therefore, for this graph, there are two solutions for the equation fx is equal to 0. That is, this one is the first one. This is first root and this is the second root of the equation fx is equal to 0. So this root lies between the numbers 1 and 2 and this one lies between 9 and 10. So you see in this case when x is equal to 1 see this is the length f of 1 and you know this is a negative number and also at this point 2 this will be the length f of 2. So this is the point 2 comma f of 2 and this is the po point 1 comma f of 1. So in this case this f of 1 is negative and f of 2 is positive. So then in that case f of 1 and f of 2 are of opposite signs and the root lies between 1 and 2. We can examine this one here also. Here you see f of 9 is positive and f of 10 is negative. So if f of 9 and if f of 10 are of opposite signs, then there is a root between 9 and 10. I am explaining this concept here because we will be using this one in problems for finding initial approximation. So we can generalize this. If f of a and f of b are of opposite signs, then there is a root lies between a and b. So now, there are different methods for solving, numerical methods for solving such type of equations. In all these methods, we will start with an initial approximation usually denoted by x0. So in this case, you can take x0 as either 1 or 2 or 1.5, any value that lies near to the root. Then after that, in finite jumps, we will reach the root. So in the first step, we will improve the accuracy of this approximation. So then if you are taking x0 as 1, in the second step, you may be reaching this uh, value and again after uh, you will be jumping towards the root and in finite number of steps you will get this answer. So you have to learn two numerical methods that is newton raphson method and iteration method. In the next lecture I will be explaining newton raphson method.